We need to stand up for what is right in this country. Mama Iflavo. We are in the midst. And listen carefully. We are in the midst of a massive political quake. Exupoko kasanti kasukwe. Put your ears to the ground. Put your ears to the ground. Not just now. But put your ears to the ground. Because there is a major shift happening in this country. Fellow St. Lucians, I have conducted a thorough evaluation of Saint, the St. Lucia Labour Party for the past three years. That period, July 26, 2021, to July 26, 2024. And according to Morgi, you know Morgi the Calypsonian, today the results I bring, and I want you to bear with me. Bear with me because I want to bring you the results. My evaluation focuses on just two of the main pillars that constitute the political economy, and namely education and agriculture. Yes, I come from a farming community. <laughs> agriculture we all know we all know that the labor party is all about smoke screens making you believe that something is happening when nothing is happening and you know while they celebrate they claim that their government has governed with compassion and a desire to unite the country. Shameless! A desire to unite the country? The Prime Minister and his cabinet have done nothing but to create division and bitterness in this country. You know this us and them ideology. Yes, yes. This is what they constantly perpetuate. Yes, please. Yes. You are a product of Canada. Shameless. Ginger ale. <laughs> and they want to give St. Lucians the impression that they are for everyone by sprinkling a few, one or two uh, UWP supporters in the mix. Giving you the impression that they are concerned. They care for the people of this country. They are fooling themselves. St. Lucians, it's a critical thing for us to do you know and we are at a very important juncture and I want you to do some reflection because I want you to do it for yourself don't let anyone do it for you look at our hospitals somewhere look at the conditions of our roads what do you see the same people who claim that people did not eat roads now they are so busy. When they are manjenu, you are not just manjenu. But these are the same people who are giving jobs to selected members. Thirty drain pala, thirty footpath pala. Kisa, you are not. She may not manje munako. Eh? She may not manje munako. Mun not manje she may not. They are the same ones who made you believe 
St. Lucians believe that people don't eat roots. But as I said the last time, as I said, Samuel King, a national freeness. It's a national freeness that is going on. A national freeness. Ask yourself this question. As you look around, are you, and Spider asked, um, said it at the beginning, are you in a better situation than you were three or four years ago? No. Or is your situation worse off? Are you getting more value for your money under a Labour Party administration? No. Do you have more money in your pocket? No. And is the cost of living in this country lower or higher? higher? Let me tell you. I am sure that all St. Lucians have the answer to these questions. And I'm certain we are all on the same page. We would agree. So this Labour Party, when they claim that they care for the people of this country and that they are governing with a desire to unite, you know what great they deserve? Tell me what great they deserve. Zero. Really zero. No grade. They deserve a failing grade. They deserve a failing grade. And I want to talk about education. I'm an educator. Let's talk about education. The past three years, what have we seen? Have we seen anything new at the Ministry of Education? Nothing new has been happening. They only talk about and boast about paying fees. But what new initiative, new interventions have been implemented at the Ministry of Education? The Ministry of Education, fellow St. Lucians, is at a standstill. And you know why? Because the Minister of Education, Sean Edwards, wants to introduce a manifesto dream of converting four schools into TVET schools. And you know the, mini the ministry is really cautious about that. And you know why? There is so much uncertainty at the ministry. And you want to know why? Because no one seems to know exactly what a TVET school is and what the curriculum for the nation's children is expected to be. And you want to talk about establishing four TVET schools? That is what you are going to celebrate. Where is the curriculum? Meanwhile, fellow St. Lucians, political interference and involvement has really hampered the advancement and development of Tivet in St. Lucia. To a politics. To a politics. And you're going to celebrate this? Is it about you? Or is it about the people of this country? The quality of education that we offer to our students. For the first time in two decades, fellow St. Lucians, bear with me. Because as I said, we are in the midst of a massive political quake. For the first time in two decades, the Tibet landscape in St. Lucia has witnessed political interference in its operations. And under a UWP administration, no minister of education ever interfered with the operations of TVET. None. The UWP administration recognized that TVET was a specialty education area that was not easily available in St. Lucia. 
and consequently allow the office to operate independently of government. And this is what we want, the transparency in this country. Today, who do we see at the head? A political operative. The head of TVET. Job for the boys. Job for the boys. The head of TVET. And the specialty TVET expertise and education required. The specialty and expertise TVET requires to advance in St. Lucia that does not even reside. It does not even reside with this political appointment. Tumpy, tumpy, tumpy. For this reason, the four TVET schools have been choked in the pipeline. They've been choked in the pipeline. And the education development in St. Lucia has gone nowhere under a Labour Party administration. <laughs> so, my lady, Mr. Sean Edward, your grade is an F. agriculture. You know the way in which the Labour Party has handled the agricultural sector, particularly the banana industry. Hmm. I feel it, you know. I feel it and I see it. I should have really brought the clips to show you how the very same bananas, bananas being bought by NFTO. Farmers come, they sell their bananas, and later on, you see some of the very same farmers coming with their vans. Bro. Bro. The same bananas are being disposed of. The pigs and the cows are getting fat, they are smiling, and farmers are catching their tail. This is what's happening in this country. And we have to ask ourselves whether we are going to allow the St. Lucia Labor Party, allow the St. Lucia Labor Party to destroy whatever that is left of St. Lucia. We cannot allow that. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. Our country needs us. Our country needs us. Every single one of us. They fool the farmers. They promise them better days and a better market. The farmers were misled into believing that market access, particularly the one in the UK, would improve. But you know what the reality is? It is so different. A task force, c'est ça, Philippe Pomet. A task force was established. They set up a task force. Filled with whom? Individuals driven by self-interest. Where is the task force today? Where is the task force? You promised the farmers that you were going to get them a better and more viable market for their fruits. Now we don't hear anything about the task force. Where are the people on the task force? What exactly are they doing for the farmers? This government initially announced a relief package of $500,000 for farmers who had suffered the loss of, when they say, packaging materials. And just days later on, you know, they double the figure. They double it. 
But you know what continues to remain a mystery? The criteria that they used for distributing those funds. Secrets. That remains a mystery. That remains a mystery. What criteria did they use? You know what? This was so fair and that was such an insult to some of the farmers. Some farmers who consistently sold more fruits receive less than $200. Mama, less than $200. While others with far less output received four, five, or even six times more. Kimonia Sasafet. Kimonia Sasafet. What did you do with the figures? Wanje yo. Pour weki. Se moun wanjwen pli laja. Et se sakifet. Less than $200. Not even enough money to buy two bags of fertilizer. While I am on fertilizer, let me tell you. You see, one of the things that they say that they are celebrating, the bags of fertilizer from Morocco and some other fertilizer, I think 9,000 bags of fertilizer that they distributed to the farmers. St. Lucians, don't be fooled. Première fois. Première fois. Moi, j'aime oué constituency office to ne uh, kote moun ka vini pou guano. In Denrin off, for example, and I'm not ashamed to say it, I'm not afraid. In Denrin off, Sean's office became the distribution center. Ek le la pate ni a sele pou pwan se sak fertilizer. Machine vini ek point mene yo gadet. La kai yona se strong supporters la. Who would then distribute the bags of fertilizer to their supporters? And you want to come and talk about celebrating victory? Celebrating achievement? This is a shame, a crying shame. Crying shame. You need to understand what's happening. You need to understand what is happening in this country. Because I know, and if you put your ears to the ground, you will hear it too. The majority of the farmers are disheartened. They feel abandoned. They are confused. Openly, they tell you. Openly, they tell you. On the the previous UWP government, they were much better. Amen. They were in a better place. But you know what? This Labour Party administration chooses to ignore the sentiments expressed by the farmers. They just want to fool them. They have managed the banana industry miserably. And we need the farmers. That's why I tell you, the shake starts with them too, you know. The shake starts with them too. They have blatantly disregarded the farmers. The farmers were supposed to be the backbone of this country's agricultural sector. You know, they, they feel so comfortable sitting it's the seat of power. They, they, they feel comfortable. Comfortable while the farmers are there struggling to make ends meet. They are struggling to make ends meet. You know, Sean Edward, for five years, is he can play with by the farmer? Is he can many HTS? Is he can many HTS at the Valley? Pour point à the farmer, point vieux fig allié. Boshimia, and to bring in the media. You are crying for the farmers? Your government is in office today. Where are you? And what are you doing for the people? What are you doing for the farmers?
Thomas. Vous ne pouvez pas appeler le bail encore? Now you know what is even more embarrassing? Some of the very same farmers he used to orchestrate to orchestrate these things on the side of the road with all bananas. Adam, when he has to clip, même ces farmers qui après ces gladiateurs sont venus au menu bail cochon. Where are you now? So instead of celebrating your victory, focus on doing more to address the poor healthcare services in this country. Focus on doing more to address the pressing issues related to crime in this country. Yes. Focus on doing more yes. to reduce the high prices of goods at our supermarkets and to better the, the quality of fruits that the, farmers, that the farmers offer. Focus on doing this. As a United Workers' Party, the party of progress, the party with one accord, your preferred political party, we will rise. And when we rise, we will rise. And when we do, we are going to fix it for you. Thank you very much, everyone.